Hi everyone! So today I'm going to show you a back to school look that's um, really natural um, because I know there are some schools out there that don't allow you to wear makeup at all so just try and keep it really natural looking and hopefully they won't catch you out. Um, but yes, I prefer the natural look for school anyway. But this is kind of what I used to do for school when I was in school. Um, actually, I don't think I used to wear... I didn't use foundation when I was in school. Um, I don't know. Anyway, but yes, uh, this is something that can be done really quickly and with lower end products as well. So obviously if you're in school and you're not earning, then this is the way that you need to go anyway. So yes, so anyway, enough of my blabbering and um, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and find it easy to follow. So I'm going to start with the Rimmel Wake Me Up foundation and this is in the colour True Ivory. Um, I'm going to try and do this as much as I can without using brushes. So I'm just going to dot this across the face. And then rub this in with the fingers. Then this is what I used to use to conceal when I was in school. This is the Natural Collection um, cover stick and this is in the colour Fair with a very small amount left. So I'm just going to pop this everywhere that I used to pop it for highlighting. I used to just go in this triangle shape under the eye, around the nose where I've got a bit of redness and just on the chin as well. So just using the fingers again, I was just going to rub that in. Now I'm going to use the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish and this is in the colour Medium and just taking a large brush I'm just going to polish this across the face. Now when I was in school I used to use the Collection 2000 um, translucent powder, I think it was about 2 99 and it was amazing, I think I, I need to get myself some more of it really. So taking the Rimmel Trio in Spring Flower and a blusher brush, I'm just going to sweep this in circular motions up towards the tip of the ear. Now I am going to use a brush again, even though I've said I'm trying not to. Um, so just taking a medium sized fluffy brush, I'm using today um, some of the Daniel Sandler, some of the Daniel Sandler eyeshadows here. I have got 201 Matte Shadow, Rosy Tan and then 215 matte shadow um, and what you could do is you could get just a small palette which is a natural colour which a lot of the companies do nowadays. So taking that pale shade I'm going to sweep that across the lid and all the way up to the brow and then quickly move on to the 215 and I'm just going to place that in the crease and buff it out. Now if you want to go a step further again, this is where I'm going to take the rosy tan and still on that fluffy brush, this is just going to be taken in the outside of the eye, just bringing it just above the lash line and just underneath on that lower lash line as well. So now for a soft look for the eyes, I'm taking the Collection 2000 um, pencil in black and this is going to go just along very close to the lash line here, just on the top. I'm now smudging this out with my finger to make the look even softer. And then moving on to the mascara, I am taking the Bourjois Paris and this is volume clubbing mascara in the dramatic look. Now I'm going to try and use as little of this as possible to try and get a really natural look for the eyes. So I'm being really gentle with this. So I'm still getting the length in the lashes but not the thickness. And then finally for the lips I am taking the Vaseline Petroleum Jelly and this is in Rosy Lips so it's a nice pink colour and this is something that you can just keep in your bag during school. 
and I've just had a thought if you do want to um, shape your brows a little bit just go back to that matte shadow I'm going to go back to the 215 here and unless you're very skilled you will have to use a brush so I'm taking a brow brush and I'm just going to sweep this through the brow starting right underneath there to sharpen up that arch and bringing it down so you just want to choose a colour that's quite close to your brow colour to keep it as natural looking as possible Okay everyone, that is the finished natural back to school makeup look. So I hope you find that really easy to follow. Um, I tried to keep the steps really simple. Um, and like I said, tried to use as many um, lower end products that I could that I'd actually forgotten how much that I liked as well. So um, I shall be purchasing more of those too. But anyway, thank you all for watching and enjoy school. See you all soon. Bye. And we dance all night to the best I ever did. Go, oh, 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 we go, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm losing it.